So this is their token, Sado. Its, uh, its use case is very similar to Ethereum's token use on Ethereum. Uh, important thing to notice is that Sato's token is not used for governance because governance is not really figured out yet on Sato. That's a very important note. Um, Sato token is currently ranked on 570th place on CoinGecko. Its total supply and max supply is 10 billion. And today its price is somewhere around 1.4 cents uh, at the time of shooting. Now let's have a look at the price performance. It's not on many centralized exchanges. You can get it on Gate, however, and you can get it on the centralized exchanges like Uniswap. Ever since the summer, Sato has actually, there was a little bit of the hype uh, around the new year. And since the summer lows have gone actually 20x. Although Sato is extremely uh, low cap, so it's also associated with high risk, of course. And um, uh, currently it has gone down when we don't count this week. It has gone down about 86%. So again, <clears throat> Sato is actually uh, still outperforming most of the altcoins and small altcoins out there because they're uh, they're down 90%, 95% already. And Sato is not down 90% yet. I uh, drew one red area for you. This red area, it is also on weekly. It's it's very obvious. This red area is an area where uh, this is not a financial advice, but where I think lots of people are gonna take profits. And I think even though, uh, you know, the smaller the market cap, the more unpredictable. So the try to predict such a small cap like Sado is rather futile. But I'm just saying that this red area is uh, reasonably, in my opinion, reasonably good profit take. And it's also like 4x from where we are at the moment. These small caps, one massive new can swing the chart the other, the other way. Like if they have a massive release, although I am not aware of any upcoming massive releases because the mainnet is coming online in stages. There is not like a magic switch there. Like uh, you know, tomorrow there is no mainnet. Tomorrow, uh, like today there is no mainnet, and tomorrow there is. So um, I don't see such a huge day. But you never know. There might be some listing. There might be I don't know something. Although as far as listing go, this is what uh, Richard has to say. You know, a lot of them are expecting that you come to play the game, you play the game with them and you grab some tokens, you exercise, you get some hype going and then you dump on retail. Right? That's the game. That's that's what they're doing. And the project can make a, a lot of money and the exchange make a lot of money out of that initial spike. And then you see if it lasts or if anything comes out of it. The purpose is for that initial spike and to take some money off the table as a pro project. We're just not interested in doing that. So they're trying to act very transparently as even as far as the listing go, more transparent than many other uh, competing projects. So that's a thumb up for them. Um, remember that the fact that Sato has not yet gone down 90%, it is also a little bit of the red flag because most of the other altcoins are down 90%, 95% even. So it's uh, it's actually, uh, you should be still careful. If you want to buy in Sato at the moment today, I think I would be cautious.